This video is about the American T29E3, which was an experimental heavy tank of World War II, and I presume that it was worked on and then kind of um, abandoned later on. Uh, there's me, and I'm beside this enormous gun and an enormous turret, and there are stereoscopic modules on both sides of the turret. There's a box there, and there's a box on the other side of the turret, which gave the, uh, like, periscopic depth, depth uh, vision to uh, the tank uh, commander. So this was designed basically to square off against King Tigers. So over here in white, it says T29E3, right there. <laughs> and over here it says 1947. But that's not quite World War II. I, that's after World War II. Uh, but I think this was a heavy tank project that um, overlapped World War II. It would have weighed, say, combat weight, 70 tons, 75 tons. So it may have been close to a super heavy, too. And I have the term T29E3, T30E4, T31E2, as classifications for uh, maybe paper studies for larger examples of such items, such objects. This photograph was taken in 2008, and I presume at um, it is still at the Patent Museum of Cavalry and Armor. There, there is a sign right there that says Patent Museum. If this could ever be focused, but and that, if you care to know, is a World War II M10 Wolverine of the United States Forces. Let's see. That's an exhibit. And there is an exhibit. And there is me. So that is an American heavy tank. Not a Pershing. Not an M6A1. But a distinct piece. Basically America had three distinct heavy tanks. And one super heavy tank. And But we only we know about... We only know about one. The Pershing. But we were working like demons to build um, heavies and super heavies uh, to square off with the Germans and uh, take care of business in the ETO. Well, I hope you go down to uh, Kentucky, Fort Knox, and visit this. And there's me. Patrick out. <laughs>